This is Black History on the Go, with your host, Tyrone Bennis. In today's video, we will take a look into the life and legacy of one of the trailblazers of the civil rights movement. I'm talking about Malcolm X. Malcolm X was born in 1925 in Omaha, Nebraska. His birth name was Malcolm Little. After his father was brutally murdered and his mother was hospitalized, he grew up living with his relatives or in foster homes. When he was older, he turned to a life of crime and was later arrested and sentenced to 8 to 10 years in prison. It was during this time where the course of his life would take a different turn. He joined the Nation of Islam while he was still in prison and changed his name to Malcolm X. He was released in 1952 and sat under the leadership of Elijah Muhammad, the leader of the Nation of Islam at that time. Malcolm rose through the ranks quickly and became the national spokesperson for the Nation of Islam. But power like this would come with a heavy price. Malcolm became the face of the Nation of Islam. His unconventional style and radical approach to civil rights brought him a lot of attention. Many members within the organization felt that he was getting too popular. He also felt other well-known civil rights leaders, like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., was too mainstream and too passive regarding their methods of achieving racial equality. He was soon scrutinized by government organizations because of his radical approach. It wouldn't be long before tension would develop between Malcolm and the nation, particularly with Elijah Muhammad. After making an unfavorable comment about the Kennedy assassination, Malcolm was prohibited from public speaking for 90 days. In March of 1964, after completing his pilgrimage to the city of Mecca, Malcolm announced his departure from the Nation of Islam. By this time, tensions between him and the nation increased. And on February 21, 1965, Malik El Shabazz, Malcolm X, was assassinated in New York City, while making a speech at the Audubon Ballroom. His autopsy revealed 21 gunshot wounds to the chest, left shoulder, arms, and legs. So what is the legacy of Malcolm X? He was one of the most influential leaders in our nation's history when it came to African American awareness. He was the voice of a generation, the voice of a culture, that did not have the courage to speak for itself at that time. Did you know that Malcolm X had an impact on the Marvel Universe? That's right, Marvel Comics writer, Chris Claremont, revealed that the character of Magneto was inspired by Malcolm X. Also, Martin Luther King Jr. was the inspiration for Charles Xavier. And that wraps up this profile of one of the great leaders of our time. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes from this series. For all of us here at Black History on the Go, I'm Tyrone Bennis. Have a great day.